Hey, wonderful people. We are back here talking about Law of Attraction Manifestation. Got a surprise for you this time. <laughs> Shouldn't be a surprise to us, though. Is that complaining. A lot of people complain. It's, it's almost a national pastime in just about every country. <laughs> complaining is, you know, just us complaining on what we don't like. However, complaining is a manifestational technique. It is something you can do to bring about other things in the positive, and we usually do it in the negative. I recently just did, completed doing it in the negative and not even realizing it because I was stating the facts and complaining that something was the way it was and I was just stating the facts but what that does is that that kind of lets the universe I don't want to say like the universe is, a, is looking at you but um, I don't want to personify the universe but everything you do is manifesting so that is a manifestational technique so that you will get more of everything you do. So if you're complaining, it's more likely that you're going to get more reasons to complain about that thing. You're going to see that. So, uh, yeah, if you're complaining about something, obviously you don't like it. So stop complaining about it. I know, right? And it's harder said than done. And it is harder said than done. So what do we do instead of complaining? And your mind is going to say, but this is the truth. I want to talk about this. Well, what you can do is, is and it takes practice, is that you can say, the you can flip the script. So if something is not the way you like it, you could say, oh, that's going to change. That's absolutely going to change. And then you go on about why it's going to change. And you know why this is going to change? Because this, this, and this. And I'll tell you, it, there's even something more reasons why it's going to change. Now, now, see, now you're manifesting in the opposite. Now you're doing really good work. Now it's that's where you have skipped on the complaining because the complaining is going to give you more of something to complain about. But now if you flip the script and said that all this stuff, all this other good stuff is going to happen, then you're going to have more reasons. The universe is going to give you more reasons to talk about why more of this good stuff is going to happen, the stuff that you just said. That's what it is. Do not complain about stuff. If you if you do catch yourself complaining, say why is it bad? And but don't speak it out loud. You know why it's bad. So say um my hubcap fell off the other day. I don't really care, but it was it's an ugly hubcap. Uh they all needed to be changed anyway. <laughs> and I bought I bought some new ones for like 30 bucks. So, uh but I, let's say I wanted to complain about that. And I, you know, I would say, I don't know. Usually we complain about people or, or other stuff, um, money, right, politics, blah, blah, blah. Stuff we really can't change uh, through our own physical actions, at least in the short run. So we kind of complain about stuff that way, most of often. And... I would just say, like, if it was my hubcap, which I can change, and I did change, but <laughs> I would just say, you know what? I can change this. This is something I'm going to do. And it, they were all dirty anyway. This is a good, this is, this is good. This is actually good because this is going to make my car look so much better. And when I go to sell it, it's, it's going to feel better. And if it feels better to me, it's because... I'm going to manifest better things about it as well. If I feel badly about my vehicle, I'm probably going to manifest bad things about my ve my vehicle, right? And that that's entirely true. If it's about other people, say it's about politics and you're complaining about the politics, um, well, you're going to manifest more reasons to complain that way. Say, no, this is how people are going to see it now. 
This is what the this is what this, my country is going to do now. This is what they're going to see now. This is how it's going to happen now. This right, we're coming up to election year. You can say this too. This is who's going to be elected, and this is why. One, two, three, four, five. You're putting yourself. Now you're not trying to change the whole country and the whole world. That's not what you're doing. You are putting yourself in a timeline where those things that you just said will come true or are much more likely to come true. You're, the universe is going to give you more reasons to see what you just said and do more of what you are just doing, which is, I don't know, flipping the script, saying the positive of what you just saw. Give you new more reasons to say why things are great. And you should say why things are great. When you think when you see things are great, you should go off on it. Just like you go off on negativity, <laughs> right? We have these complaining fits where we go, Oh, this is terrible and that's terrible and this is terrible, right? Well, you should have the positive aside because if you want positives in your life, I don't know. <laughs> of course you do. You go off on the positives. You say, you know, this is really great. And you know why this is really great? And this is so good. So l let me uh, pick a thing here. Um, uh, 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 money. Money's always right. Money is always a big thing. So say you got a raise in your job. Just manifested a raise in my job. And I've done that. There was no reason why they were going to give us a raise. It was out of the blue. I wanted it. And so I threw it out. Into, I did manifestational techniques. It manifested. And a matter of fact, they even said that there were more raises coming uh, through no fault of their own or no reason of their own. It was just another process that was coming through that was actually uh, likely to give us more raises. So, boom, right? Double boom. So... What, uh, let's see, where am I going with all this again? <laughs> money, money. Everybody wants to complain about money. Flip the script for money. You don't want to complain about money. You want to flip the script on that too and give yourself more reasons to be happy. So when I got my raise, I was like, yeah, that's right. Yes, absolutely they should have given us a raise. This was meant to be. This had to happen. And this had to happen because of the way the economy is going. And I threw in the economy. I threw in the the world economy, the national economy, the whole uh, situation with the company that I'm working for now. And the whole thing. The whole thing. I threw it all in there. All the reasons why. Some of it was total B BS, honestly. <laughs> but it works. It works. It works, so do it. It's, it. Try and convince yourself. It's almost like you're convincing the universe. And I'm not sure that we are. I, I speak usually against um, personifying. I'm moving some pens over here. It's a nervous tick kind of thing. Uh, but <laughs> I s sometimes speak against personifying the universe. Because it doesn't act like that. It's just It's very mechanical. If you put it out there, but you can think of it like that, that you're trying to convince the universe that you want more of this. That always doesn't work as a technique, but if you keep on saying the thing, the positive things about the things you want and expecting to say more positive things about the things you want in the future because of that, that will work. That's the reverse of complaining. So, yeah. Don't complain. And there are whole gurus that'll, that say you never should complain. You should never complain. Ever. And they did. some of these people don't even go into law of attraction. They just say it's, just, it's bad for your mind. It's bad for your psychology. It's bad for your brain. And of course, the, a lot of people that are in law of attraction uh, are also saying the same thing. But then they, they, they put it towards the negative energy that goes into you, goes into your universe, goes into your place, goes into your world, and of course goes into your future as well, right? They did that whole experiment about water, and if you put positive intentions into it, you can see in under a microscope uh, 
that it's it's much more orderly the, the, than when you put negativity into it. So it's, it's highly suggestive that when you are messing with the uh, physical universe and putting negativity out there, you are actually putting negativity out there. And that negativity is going to affect you back in a negative way. It makes sense. We see it all the time in Law of Attraction. So we definitely don't want to be uh, complaining. But it is a, a manifestational technique. So when you catch yourself, it's a manifestational technique in the negative. So when you catch yourself doing that, stop, go towards flipping the script, and then rant on that why. And if you have to argue with your brain, because your brain is probably going to say, I don't know, man, that's pretty unlikely. You're going to get one of those thoughts because you're not there yet. That's the whole reason you're, you're flipping the script. You wouldn't need to flip the script if you were there yet already. <laughs> and your, your mind is probably going to say, I don't know, man. You say, no. You, and you can argue. You're going to feel weird the first time you do this. You say, no, you don't understand, mind. This is going to happen. And you just go off like that. I've had this work more than... It, it has changed my life. My life wouldn't even look anywhere like it. it does now. But for that one single, single technique. All right.